I don't know what you just did, but it was pretty spectacular. It's like the whole place has been filled with some kind of strange power. Rewarding mo mollusks. Builder, what have you done? What is the energy flowing through me? My old body's been filled with a yearning to create. I've got this uncontrollable urge to go and till a field. I hope this would happen. All the power you collected was unleashed when you rang the bell. It opened our eyes to the wonder of building. It looks like it even inspired you. Now you can build simple stools, simple small tables and chests. Is that so? We could certainly use some furniture around here. You can make all of that, can you? You builders really are amazing. Alright, Avak. We're all very impressed. You can stop posing now. Oh, really? Do I have to? I like it. From now on, you will have a full cooperation from Perry and I. Let us rebuild the great farm and restore this place to its former glory. We shall tend to the fields from the moment we wake up in the morning to the moment we fall asleep at night. No crop shall remain unwatered on my watch. That's fantastic, isn't it, Avak? Now we can all work together to see Furrowfield Farm reborn. Okay. Um... And <laughs> Avak learned cult. Oh, I mean, <laughs> uh, I, I, <laughs> hmm. May maybe. Uh, Barry, is this game any good? I'm having a lot of fun with it. Uh, is it for children? Well, hmm. I think it could definitely be appreciated by children, but I think it's kind of like a lot of films. Uh, when you're a kid, you, you kind of watch it and you're laughing at all the jokes that are for kids, while your parents are laughing. You think they're laughing at the same jokes, but no. There are a few different ways that, that that joke could be taken, and they're taking it in the adult way. Um, there is a, there is a lot of uh, kind of strange uh, strange statements that we've come across so far. Uh, it's definitely got a bit of tongue in cheekness to it. Um, okay, we're going to get the farm reborn. Residents will behave differently depending on the time of day and the type of room they're in. They're entitled to live lives outside the farm, you know. Okay. That went even better than I imagined. Who'd have thought that those two would ever get so fired up of our building? It seems that whenever you build things for us, or when we manage to make things ourselves, our emotions overflow and turn into those funny fragments that only you can see. And then, when you collect enough of that emotional energy and pour it into ringing the bell, everyone becomes better at building, including you. If I'm right about this, and I'm sure I am, these overflowing emotions are the key to getting Furrowfield Farm back to its on its feet. Collect as many as you can and make us all the best builders we can be. I can certainly try. I'll examine this. Whether we'll till fields faster, we'll water crops faster, more recipes will unlock at crafting stations at the next level. Okay. Oh my god, I'm so hungry though. Oh. I need to bring it some food in a moment. Okay, now that Bonanzo and Perry are finally in the mood to help, we can take Operation Furrowfield Farm to the next level. Right, problem is, a farm needs soil and seeds, and it looks like you're fresh out of both. Well, um... Any ideas, Avak? Ha! <laughs> For a mob who hates builders, you lot certainly seem to be lost without one. What's the story there, anyway? What's so bad about builders? Come on, let's get to the root of this. Of course, the root! Well, I, I suppose it's more of a bulb, really. Whatever it is, it certainly isn't a cabbage. This can be the next thing we grow. Here you go, Avak. Obtains a light bulb. Really, a light bulb. Okay. Uh, Avak can't hold any more items. Oh dear. I always suspected it might be special, so I kept it hidden away this whole time. Huh? Hey, Avak, get a load of that. I had noticed, yeah. I think that's telling me where I, we need to plant this. The platform, it's glowing. It, it's be because you're a builder and you're holding the bulb. Go on, Avak. Plant the light bulb in the light. Uh, light and let's see what happens. Hey. I, I will do this, yes. But first, I must do something else. And that is, clear out my inventory. Right. Now, uh, is there a way that I can just look at my character's inventory? Ah, there we are. I don't have an inventory beyond this, it looks like. Right here.
Um, Salty Pumpkins, I think this has got a bit more of a story to it. Um, so I'm not sure it, if you can keep playing it through the story. I'm, I'm really not certain. This is my first playthrough on it, and it's, for all intents and purposes, blind. Um, but there is definitely a more of a narrative, but it seems like a narrative you can take at your own pace. I, I think it's probably... Probably the sort of game where you, where you could you could follow the story quite religiously and finish the game, or you could just play. Certainly, looking at the um, the fact that you can share your creations with other people, hints at there being a lot more kind of just creative content to it. Ava gently presses the light bulb into the soft soil, and immediately it sparks. Like legit, it actually did. Wow, well, could this be? Oh, fiddlesticks! We've really gone and done it this time. The Master of Destruction is sure to strike us down. The Master of Destruction? What the heck's that? What? Have you really never heard of the Master of Destruction? Does that mean that you don't know about the children of Hargon, either? I see. So you weren't just playing dumb. You really don't know about the evils of building. You've been talking at cross-purposes this whole time. Let me explain. Everyone in Furrowfield follows the teachings of High Priest Hargon, handed down to us by his illustrious children. On this island, building isn't only forbidden, it's a serious sin. Huh? It's what? Rosie! Rosie! We're in an old leap of trouble here. The pastor's on his way over. He must have seen the light from the tree. Hey, Ava, look. Oh dear. <laughs> Not introduction. What in the name of Hargon is happening here? Well. Who planted this tree? Answer me, faithless wretches. What? 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 Building a farm, you say? Heresy, how dare you sully my island with the sinful stain of creation? You will pay dearly for this. Oh, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. The fields and the cabbages were my idea. Don't punish Avak just because he's a builder. A, a builder? This woodless looking whelp. Wait, this tree? Could it really be? Could it really be what? If you know something about it, then spit it out. If I'm not mistaken, this is a young deer tree. The sacred sentinel of the Furrowfield Forest. Beneath whose blessed boughs this island once flourished. Hmm. Hear me, my wayward vassals. I have had a change of heart. I have seen the fruits of your labors, and I have decided to forgive you your sins. My superiors need not know of your arboreal indiscretion. I will keep your secret so long as you keep growing this tree. But should it dwindle and die, then so shall you. G grow the tree? But... but I don't really know how to... You need not worry on that account, my child. Butterfield's most ancient legends tell of exactly what one must do to see a deer tree grow tall and strong. Okay. Harvest cabbages. You must harvest 15 cabbages. Butterfield was once far, far famed for its succulent cabbages. I trust that you can live up to these expectations. Should you lack sufficient seeds, I suggest you seek out more yourselves. You must harvest 50 sheaves of wheat. The people of Furrowfield once enjoyed a wide range of foods, and wheat formed a, a cornerstone of many of delicious dish. You may find you need to travel afar to find the seeds you need. You must till 50 blocks of earth. Furrowfield was once a farmer's paradise, with fields stretching out as far as the eye can see, and no farm can operate without ploughed soil. 50 squares will suffice. If you cannot find enough clean soil, I recommend you find a means of making more. <laughs> I heard of this so-called deer tree. It was a mighty magical tree that protected all life on Furrowfield, or so they say. If that's true, and if we really can grow a new deer tree, then we might be able to bring li light back, uh, light and life back to the island after all. Hold on, a creepy monster turns up out of the blue and suddenly you're going along with everything. I was thinking that as well, Marloth. What makes you think he can be trusted? 
Mm hmm, we have a live one, I see. Such a spirited soul would make a fine offering to the Master of Destruction. Don't make a fuss, Marloth. We're not in a position to argue here. You too, Avak. I can't do this without you. Please say that you'll help us. Uh, grow the deer tree and bring Furfield back farm back to life. I, I kind of don't believe this. Fine. But only because I suspect he's up to no good and I, and I would be able to help you better for being here. B, thank you, Avak. I knew you wouldn't let me down. Hmm, a wise decision, young builder. Should you lose sight of your goal, I would bid you speak with me once more. I don't know where we're going to find wheat seeds or to plant or, or any more earth to till, but I'm sure you'll figure something out. For now, let's concentrate on growing the cabbages. If we all work together, we'll have these tasks done in no time. Thank you very much, Trickstar, for the cheer there. And Odo the Hero, thank you very much for the Twitch Prime subscription. And Raven Blackwood, I hope this helps fun. Uh, tree drinking, ferret loving, peace fixing with. Actually, I think I, I called that one. My bad, my bad. It's fine, it's fine. Right, okay, so. I need more blocks to finish the house. Uh, when hunger strikes, if your fullness if you ever grows to zero, you won't be able to dash or string two sword slashes together. That's why it's fully sunk before that happens. Uh, good point. Very, very good point, actually. Uh, Cook me some cabbages. And while you're doing that, I'm going to gobble one down. Oh, wow. I can only assume they're crazy good then for that. Honestly, if we're growing cabbages, I'm going to eat all of my kelp. Um, 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 um. Delicious kelp. Right, well, that's going on. Continue gathering blocks that I need. I really do like the fact that, again, when you're holding down uh, the button for smashing, it, if you'll just maintain whatever direction you're facing when you first started. Let's grab this. I have got grilled greens. Sounds delicious. Right, let's uh, pop this up. My question is, do I have nearly enough to be able to make all of this? Probably not, but uh, I can always have a look. I wonder if I can put this back. There we go. Actually. Not quite. I need two more. Two more and I can finish that room properly. Of course, neither of those is a full block. Of oh, wait, no, I can make them now. Ha 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 ha. Yeah, <laughs> I just glanced across the chat and everyone was like, but you can make them now. Yeah. yeah. Did warn you, I'm a derp. Right, let's have a look at all the things we can make. Uh, crafting station, I can now make that myself. Um, I mean, these are floorboards, though, so why am I building it out, all out of floorboards? Uh, I feel that what I want is a, a no-frills wooden wall for a humble home. Yes. I would like... 100 of them, please. Make 100 software blocks, yes. Perfect. That'll do nicely. And now, I'm going to pull these walls back down. Because they are floors, not walls. And we're going to make a nice big room, too. Because why not? Let's get you guys a proper place to sleep. You're doing a lot of good work. And also, you stuck up for me. Um, well, I have enough wood to make more blocks. Yeah, uh, you can make more of those. Uh, does PS4 not have a look up, look down? Uh, it does uh, in the... Um, third person. I'm not sure... I imagine there is a button for... for um, 
whilst you're in third person to place something above or below, but I'm not sure what it is. Uh, this will be going up on, on YouTube Math Machine. As well. And then I think that's a big enough room, honestly. Right, so, let's start placing these down. But if anyone does happen to know what the buttons are to be able to place up and down while in third person, if there are buttons for that, please let me know. Because that would be super useful. With that then. Yeah, try L1 and L2. But I'm not sure how to play. So I don't... Oh, no, there you go. Yes, it is. Thank you so much. That is perfect. I mean, it's not exactly beautiful, I'll be honest. It's a very simple wall. But it'll do. I'm hoping we've got enough to make all of this. And because I can only place up to two tall, I don't need to worry that I'm going to accidentally place some of them as three tall. There we go. This is now a room. This is a regular sized room. I am very happy with this. Also, I'm going to gobble down my grub. Mom. Right, next up. I want to place some things in there. Actually, I've got three beds. Let me pop those down. So, a little spot for you guys to sleep now. I can look up, look down. Can I rotate is the question. I do believe there was a way to rotate, but I can't remember what it was. But anyway... Let's just pop these over, the, over here. One, two. Maybe. Actually, we could have four in here easily. So, let's go. Ooh, what's this? Uh, good luck finding a needle in this heap of hay. Yeah, well, I need boot for that, so it's not going to be happening in the room. Uh, let's make one of these. Now, cord. Uh, I can just make that uh, a stout and sturdy length of rope for tying things together. These are decorative items. Okay. Um, I just like one small table. Uh, I'm not sure how many stools, so I'll just get two for now. Yep. Uh, we can see the spot at the bottom. With an urn made from moulded mud. A convenient coffer for storing your stuff for easy access. Maybe use the store items. Yeah, let's get one of those as well. Okay. Oh, I've been dropping them on the floor. What? Well, at the very least, my peeps can sit down in there. Go ahead and place down the table. Two chairs. Oh. Tied and uh, tried and chested. You can store items in chests. Use them to tidy up your inventory or fill them with food for your residents to eat. Oh, okay. That's what cool. I might need two of these then. Uh, let's open this up because I've got a load of stuff that I need to drop in. Uh, sea slime shell, put away. All three. And. I guess we could put away. Tidy up. Oh, right, that's quite cool. Uh, sure, we'll pop away. Or, well, no, that's not. I, what I would like is to get some cooked food for them to eat. 
actually. Uh, that'll do. Let's get some. Well, we'll get the scallywinkles going. Yeah. Right now, got all of these things to collect, and I was told that if we use the mallet, we'll get more seeds back. Yes, we did. You can harvest this now. Uh, yes. Perfect. Harvest the cabbages. Done. Hi, Hickson. How are you doing? Take care, Pasta. You're very welcome for the stream. I am glad you enjoyed it. Yippee, we did it! We've harvested 15 whole cabbages. Back in the day, Forfield cabbages were so plentiful that we sent them to other islands. They were famous near and far for their delicious taste and succulent texture. Maybe one day we'll have that many cabbages. Wouldn't that be wonderful? Hmm? Look, Avak, look at the deer tree. Oh, wow. We did it, we completed the first task, and I think the deer tree's already looking stronger. Hmm, not bad at all. Maybe I'll we'll finally have something truly worth destroying. Shall I burn it alive, or simply blast it into splinters? Hey, my neck. We're done for. I know this whole thing was a big mistake. Please don't, Father. We did what you said, and the deer tree really did get bigger. We can't stop now. Very true, Rosie. If you wish to be spared my wrath, we will continue to look after this tree. I suggest you work these fields as though your lives depended on it. Really? Cool, but okay. Grab all of the bits. Right, I'm assuming that I can just pop the seeds in here, then. There we go. That'll work very nicely. Hello! I never expected the passer to appear out of the blue like that. I scared the living daylight out of me, so it did. And on top of that, he turns out to be interested in that tree you planted. Why do you lot believe all this children of Hargon rubbish, anyway? Look at your passer. He's dressed like someone's grandmother. To tell you the truth, I've never given it much thought before. I've been a believer since as long as I can remember. That's just the way it is. Uh, way it's always been. Oh, but before I forget, Avak, have you tried eating one of those cabbages you harvested? You're going to be growling a good big pile of the things. Uh, growing. Uh, growling. Um, so you may as well know just how delicious they are. Go on, have a nibble on one of the um, cabbages now, why don't you? I mean, okay. Go on. Amazing! You had one of them cabbages, didn't you? Good and filling, weren't they? They'll do a fine job of healing your wounds, too. There ain't much on this island in the way of uh, curative, so you're going to need to eat your greens while, you, while you're here. Hey, Jack Daddy! I look forward to supporting you each other. Oh, thank you. That was really, really kind of you to say. And, oh my lord, I just spotted Hawker's tip. Thank you. So sorry to hear about your PC. Your new place looks amazing, though. Hope this helps a little. It helps an awful lot. You have no idea. Thank you so much, Hawker. That is incredibly, incredibly kind of you. Thank you. And just in case I missed it, thanks, Math Machine. I really, really hope this is going to be on YouTube as well. This game is my crack right now. Well, uh, okay. <laughs> it's a bit, a bit grim, but sure. Um, you know, I got dragged here by Rosie. She was hell-bent on rebuilding the farm, you see. I was more worried about being found out by the children of Argon. But I don't have to worry about that anymore, do I? Maybe I can even become a builder like you. I'm going to be doing a whole lot of building from now on, and if the children don't like it, they can get stuffed. Well, fair enough. Who dare speak ill of the children of Hargon? What foul sinner defies my divine authority? Show yourself or face the full wrath of my righteous fury. Chimney tree! The pastor's got ears on him like a gleaming bat. Well, I mean... When Rosie led us to this ruined farm, I had my doubts about her whole plan. The last thing I expected was to meet a builder here. Still, I expected there must be some advantages to having someone like you around. For instance, you can make buildings, can you not? Perhaps you've already noticed the large red door by the field. 
Ah, uh, right. Uh, have you converted the ruined room around it into our new sleeping quarters? I mean... The key thing is to ensure the walls are at least two blocks high. Are you not paying attention? We we'll also need a door, of course. Our large red friend is an elementary suitable candidate. Uh, eminently suitable candidate. You can make the walls from mud if you must, but I think uh, we can both agree that softwood and floorboard blocks would be much more benefiting, uh, befitting a room for yours truly. Once the room itself is built, we must begin to think about the furniture. Two piles of straw bedding and a light source will suffice for the time being. Uh, oh, light source, you say? Hey, a torch. Ah, of course, a torch. The game doesn't expect you to be that competent out of Yeah, I know, right? Let's collect you. Uh, pop you in there. Start cooking. Now I need a light source. I mean, a bonfire would. Uh, yeah, I guess a bonfire would work, but I think I'd go for torches instead. I'll do. Have you made my bedroom yet? You're sleeping in your. Uh, And don't. Oh. Does it have to be placed on something? Oh. Basic bedroom. Ah, oh, marvelous. Placing certain combinations of furniture or items inside a room can give it a special new name. The residents will interact with it differently, too. Oot! Ah, oh, this is actually quite a lot of stuff. To be fair. Social bedroom. Wow! So... Oh, right. I guess... Okay. Oh, that's fine. Uh, that's pretty cool, actually. This ring... Bad, bo uh, bad boons, builder. Look at this bedroom. It's better than I ever imagined it would be. Now we need not wander about in the monster-infested dark of night. We can sleep in the safety of this room and awake well-rested the next morning. Why, with the builder on board, we need not stop at a single bedroom. We could have a house, hot food, happiness, <laughs> meandering and mollusks. Uh, uh, yeah, m uh, mollusks. Yeah, I think so. And all these years I've been thinking they were beings of pure evil. How could I have been so misinformed? My lad, ever since I heard you ring that bell, I've been overcome with a desire to build. This settles it. My days of pandering to the children of Hargon are over. I shall leave those fanatics and become a builder. Together we shall bring life back to Furrowfield. The art of rune building is fundamental to that. If you are to be our resident builder, I suggest you hone those skills by building rooms for the rest of us, your uh, rest of your fellow villagers. Now, Avak, my boy, I understand you're in need of seeds. Well, I intend to do what I can to aid you in that regard. For now, this is all I can give you. I found them in my beard when I was coming this morning. It isn't much, but hopefully I'll have more to offer you soon. Well. Okay. I suppose. Beard seeds. Dangerous monsters wake up when the sun sets, so be careful adventuring after dark, and jump into bed and go to sleep, and the monsters will be gone by morning. What if I want to fight the monsters? Like them. Uh, let's uh, push this back, because apparently this isn't in the right spot. Ah, I'm noticing that there's now a cabbage sign over my uh, scarecrow. I guess that's the... Oh, yeah, yeah. Right, go for it. Oh wow, it is actually strong. Nice. Okay. Alright, that's actually terrifying. Be on the lookout. Oh my lord. That 20 damage is quite nasty. Stop getting yourself killed. Let it go for me first, and then we just wail on it for a bit. Nice hit. Let it come for me. No, why do you keep running in front of it, you fool? You don't serve any purpose when you're dead. Go in here. Follow. No. Oh. Okay, good. 
It looks very beefy and they respawn infinitely. Uh, well, maybe, maybe we should go in here then. Um, perhaps I should see. You coming in? Uh, okay, as long as I can sleep, it looks like night switches over. Welcome to Dragon Quest Builder Stream! Hi, Erisham! Ah, it looks like everyone had a really good sleep. And gave me more stuff. Morning! Morning, 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 morning. Morning to you too. Morning! Morning. Yes, it is morning. I'm glad you noticed. Um, well, I wonder what makes it a social bedroom. If I take this down, is it going to stop being a social bedroom? No. Perfect. I'll not hold any more items, that's fine. Um... I'm going to stow these, and I'm also going to stow these, and I'm going to stow that. I would like... Oh, there we go. So he's having some nosh, I think. I want to put in another bed. I also kind of want to expand the room, honestly. Oh, look at my Buildopedia. Okay. Uh, rooms. Basic bedroom. Assume a room that's simply for sleeping. Residents will sleep in bed. Ah, okay. Or find out more. Right, so it makes a social bedroom by having more light sources and more bedrooms. Alright, that makes sense. So, I am going to want to... Honestly, stop cooking my cabbages. But also, I'm gonna want two, three, four extra beds. So I'm gonna be driving this whole wall back a lot more. I want a lot more room in here. We're also going to be moving that chest elsewhere as well. First, let's go ahead and dig back this wall. Make sure I'm lined up properly there. Okay, I broke the floor. Right. Okay, just take it back this far. Right, this will give us a little bit more room. Uh, we'll just push the wall back one layer, though. Simply because... Oh, can I place that? There we go. I don't... I, I like to keep the symmetry going, basically. And then we'll take a, apart the walls that are on the inside. Mm -hmm. That's annoying me, I'm going to have to jump up there. But it does seem to be very forgiving when it comes to jumping, which is quite nice. As we're doing this, the bedroom is getting bigger. Alright, yep. yep. the town has an invisible border. You can hear the music change when you step over it. So you have way more space to build than what you see. Oh, okay. Thank you very much. Yep. Yep. Alright, I would like to pop some things in here. Namely, these... This and this, and from in here, actually, I guess I could just place that there and place this one here, and that gives me 
It doesn't give me a, a huge amount of rooms, but, um, hmm. Could I move all of this, I wonder? Maybe if I made a second chest. That would probably be a good move. If I can get a second chance of storage, then that's going to allow me to migrate everything that I've got in there at the moment to a new place. So, um, got this one there. Then, uh, honestly, I could just pop in some decorations, I suppose. Just for the sake of making it nice. Take out, take out, take out. Right. Still the rest of these. Make the fields bigger. Yes, I'm gonna have to work on that one, but for now, things seem to be okay. Drop in a bunch of seeds, some food. Damn it. Stupid flimsy torch. Why did I make something so flimsy? There we go. Communal bedroom. I thought it might be that. I figured it might just go up by um, doubling. Quite glad that that worked out that way. Excellent. So if we have a look at... Uh, my Buildopedia now. Yes, yeah, it's, it's basically doubling every time. A dormitory with enough beds for many drowsy heads. Residents will sleep in the beds. I suppose... I could just keep upgrading it each time. Well, that's good enough for now. Uh, we will drop off all of the fresh food. I would like to make a kitchen of some sort. Like, really, really badly I would like to make a kitchen. So, for the time being, I'm just going to store these. Like so. We'll grab some food, because I am getting a bit peckish. I swear. On the days when I haven't been able to, to have anything to eat. Ah, <laughs> those moments where I'm like, yeah, the characters in my games are eating better than I am. <laughs> hmm. Pick those up. So let's go and uh, quickly plant all these crops then. Am I able to set this to automatically plant? I wonder, if I put a, a chest full of seeds nearby, will they automatically gather? That might be something that happens. So how does one make a farm bigger, though? I guess I would just make another scarecrow, but I'd need to find somewhere to place it, really. Um, well, let's have a chat with you, since you've got something to, to talk about. Ah, Abak, I trust the bounty of my beard. I, I refer, of course, to the seeds I gave you. Aid in your quest to restore the deity. We Farofieldians shall also do our part, toiling in the fields of a morning and sleeping in our fine new bedroom come nightfall, recovering our strength for another day's labour. What will you do while you wait for the cabbages to ripen? Might I suggest you make the lovely bedroom you built for us just a little lovelier? What it needs is a bit of traditional Farofieldian decoration. Be a good lad and finish it off with some farming tools and a nice stack of firewood, would you? Ah, uh, sure. I can take care of that for you. There's not much to ask. So, decorations. We want... Uh, loop lengths of dry lumber fit for even a fledgling fire starter. And these. There we go. Okay. 
Now, we could pop them just down here, I'm thinking. And... Oh, yeah. Was there more that he needed? Um, set of farming tools and a nice pile of firewood. Once, hmm. I'm not understanding it. Maybe I need more. Remove a bed. Ah, okay, because it's possibly uh, because it's a communal bedroom. Right, that's not what I meant to do. Get up. Farmer's bit. Right, I get you. Okay. Well, I can't seem to do anything because of my you know. Aha! That's more like it. The smell of the firewood, the rustic ambiance of the farming equipment. This is a fine idea, indeed, if I do say so myself. No doubt you noticed that the bedroom you made became a farmer's bedroom with just a few key additions. You can give a room a whole new identity. People using these unique rooms are much happier than if they had to live in a drab, functional cubicle. They will simply overflow with gratitude if you take the, my meaning. Uh, I do. Avak, this new bedroom is incredible. We're one step closer to getting Furrowfield Farm back on its feet. Indeed, my dear. Our next pr uh, priority must be to find some more healthy soil. We cannot build a farm around a few measly patches of workable dirt. I have heard tell of a curious tribe that once called this island home, who were capable of turning spoiled soil into clean and fertile earth, but I know not what became of them. Still, we, can't, we can think more about that later. For now, you must have your reward, another sample of my beard's bounty. Okay. What comes next? Uh, what comes next is me grabbing all of that stuff. Wah! Alright, I would like to... Uh, I really would like to put this down somewhere. Alright, I'm going to place it back. I mean, I'm assuming a communal bedroom is kind of similar to a farmer's room in that it is a special bedroom, but uh, maybe not. Let's have a look. Uh, this bedroom fits with farm-related furnishings. Um... I'm not sure. Hmm. I mean, it's further down in the list, if nothing else. I can all... Oh, no, oh, oh, wait. There we go. I can always just chunk one... Oh, damn it. Always take one down. Yep. There we go. We'll leave it like that. I saw it. There we go. And then I'll go and plant some more. There we go. Now then. How much... Oh, I'm 206 to go. Okay, well, that shouldn't be too hard to get. Uh, right. Have a chat with you. The pass is a strange one. I can't quite work out where he's coming from, but at least he didn't destroy the deer tree. All we need to do now is find a way to grow a lot of wheat until 50 patches of soil. Well, as far as the wheat goes, there used to be a little mill to the east. It's just ruins now, but there might still be some wheat seeds hidden there. I'll put a mark on your map so you know where these ruins are. Please, Ava, go there and bring back some wheat seeds. Sure, a new destination has been added to your map. Off we go! Oh wow. That's quite a ways, to be fair. My lord. And. Any dirt around it at all? I can't see it, but... Oh well. Might start heading off in the easterly direction. Oh, I can see a... A certain something over there. It looks like a puzzle, maybe? Not interested in playing, but sorry. By the way, you unlock better weapons by leveling up, so don't neglect beating up monsters. Right. 
Very well. Thank you very much for that uh, bit of advice. Given that, then, we'll grab us some more oil. Now, for those who are familiar with the game, do I only get EXP for kills that I make? Or monsters that I've hit? Or do I get a share of any EXP gathered by my party? Fences. Thank you for that. Okay. No, thank you. Four to eight beds, two to four lights, tools, firewood to unlock all tiers of farmers' rooms. All ex uh, and all the XP is counted. Okay, cool. How about Gamal's level increased? Marth gets stronger and Avak reaches level 3. His maximum HP increases. Mm. And... He learns a new recipe as well. Oh, Yay! Stone sword. A, stone, a sword uh, honed of stone with a wooden palm. Huh? Hey Avak, did you just invent a new weapon? You get the idea from watching me fight. <laughs> That's great. I better keep fighting then. Can't wait to see what kind of wild weapon you'll dream up next. If you do come up with a new recipe for arms and armor, you might be better off using the anvil to whip them up than a normal workbench. Okay. Well, you know, since I'm so close, you go enjoy fighting. I'll be right back. Whee! Naruto run. Oh no, you should have stayed there fighting and farming me XP. How dare you come back so early? Alright, so... Uh, is this better? Honestly, this is better than uh, what Marth has got. Yes. Can I can I give him this? Now. Whoop. There you go. Marth, can I give this to you? Let's give these tasks a shot. If nothing else, we'll learn how to grow ourselves some greenery back on the Isle of Awakening. Oh well, I've got a space sword then. 